Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a chit chat, get ready with me. I haven't done one of these in ages. I'm actually going to an event. Have I got something on it too? I'm actually going to a, an event tonight. So I thought I would get ready with you guys. <laughs> Kitty ears on. So this is going to be like my event makeup, maybe like a little bit more glam because it's a cocktail event, but it's going to be something that's long lasting. I am putting my makeup on at nearly three o'clock and the event goes till 12. So I want something long lasting and it's been quite a hot day today. I don't know what it's going to be like at the event, whether I'm going to be sweating or there's going to be air con, but I'm just going to go with my standard base, which should survive most things. <laughs> Apart from the Sephora Showcase event, it didn't survive that. <laughs> so I've got the Makeup Forever HD Primer. And my MAC Pro Longwear Foundation in NC35. I think that this is really desperately running out. I do have a backup, but... So I'm just gonna like paint it on with my fingers. The event that I'm going to is, is for the top 50 Australian influencers, I guess you'd say. So I just got an email one day about the competition and I'm like, oh, I'll just enter anyway. I did share it on my Facebook page and I was just like, ah, oh, you know, I don't wanna like, I don't know, I just feel like a bit of a, I don't know how to describe it. I just don't wanna like promote myself too much. And then I kind of forgot about it. And then they sent me an email saying that like I'd qualified for the top, 50 or something, I was invited to the event, which is a cocktail evening. Just taking my mud beauty sponge. And yeah, so I was just like, okay, I'll go to the event. <laughs> um, I guess, you know, at events, you never know who you're gonna meet, um, who you're going to network with and things like that. So I was just like, yeah, you know, so yeah, pretty excited. And um, Dean's coming with me, he's my plus one. <laughs> I have been using this beauty sponge, I think every day since I opened it. I don't think that there's a day, that, apart from using a um, a brush, but then I've usually used this with concealer, unless it's just a quick five minute makeup. I've been doing a lot of like quick five, 10 minute makeup jobs lately. Um, I haven't been going, you know, full cake face lately. So let me know if you'd like to see a video of like my quick makeup kind of thing. I did one not too long ago, which is kind of like my natural, Makeup, I can't even remember what I called it. I can definitely do like a quick makeup thing if you'd like to see one. It's a little bit different to my everyday makeup, which I do plan to have that going out this week or next week, hopefully. And I just put a second coat because I want a bit more coverage. But yeah, this beauty sponge is really, really good. It's, um, you can pick it up from Woolworths and I love it. I love heaps of the mud stuff. Like, where is it? I had it here. This contour kit is so good, by the way. Um, so it's definitely worth trying out. I did a whole video on their stuff and some of the stuff I use like every day. Today is a Wednesday and I have today offers at RDO because I am going to the event. So I just wanted to make sure I had enough time to get ready because lately I've just been like, you know, working half a day or something like that. And I always feel so stressed and don't have enough time. So I just was like, no, I'm gonna have an audio. <laughs> I have been obsessed with the sharp, sharp, <laughs> tart shape tape concealer. Wow, this stuff is so amazing, especially if you have dark circles. It covers them like nothing else. The other thing is keep in mind, it does dry quite quickly. So right now I'm just gonna do like one side. Oh, I didn't put any liquid in my, liquid um illuminator in my foundation. Damn. So I'm just gonna do one side. And this color is light, but it's a little bit light for me. I was gonna get another one, but then I kept adding things into my cart and then it just got out of hand. So I just closed the window off. But I would like to pick up another color. And this was, oh no, I just wasted half of it down the side of the bottle. This was especially good when I did have fair skin. Um, I was sick recently and I was using this and it was like, it was my skin tone. It's funny that this is my actual skin tone. <laughs> it's a little bit tricky to blend, so that's why I suggest doing like an area at a time because it does dry quite quickly. I use this on my friend on her wedding day and she gets, she calls them angry lines and they're just like the little lines here. And the next day she's like, what did you use? My angry lines didn't come out. <laughs> and I said, it's probably a combination of the product and baking it. So 
setting it with translucent powder as well because I knew that she was quite self-conscious about them. So, <laughs> but it was pretty funny that, and I feel like it doesn't move, like it sets and it doesn't move. <laughs> as per usual, <laughs> NYX Dark Circle Eraser. I have moved to a brush for this one. This is a Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer because I just couldn't get my finger in there with my fingernails. Speaking of fingernails, I've got this nail polish on at the moment. It's the Opalic, like, color changing one. And I don't know if you can tell, but my the tips are red and then the rest of it is pink. So it's when I'm cold, my nails are red, and when I'm warm, they're pink. It's really cool, actually. I think that they have a few colors. So I might pick up a few, which I just actually heard the Priceline sale should be on next week. I think that this video will go out a little bit later than that though. I have my Face of Australia translucent powder. This is like a kind of newish one. It's so funny. <laughs> I've left the sticker on there because it's still coming out with the sticker on there. But if I take the sticker off, it will just go everywhere. <laughs> See what I mean? Like that much comes out with the sticker still on it. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to pick that up on my sponge. And just bake underneath there. It's been a while since, like, I had this one from years ago and I feel like they might have changed it a little bit, unless because I haven't used it in ages, but it just feels a bit different. Like, you can't cake it on as much. I don't know. Maybe because I'm only using a bit through the lid. Just taking some of this Stila Conceal in Medium. I'm still getting pimples. I think it's because I changed my pill at the end of last year and now my skin's just not the same. <laughs> she asked though like if I was on one for my skin and I said yes so I thought that she kind of gave me the equivalent. And now that I'm a bit older like my skin just takes forever to heal like the little spots, the scabs that I get everywhere, like the mozzie bites. I've got scarring mosquito bites that I got in January like a brand new fresh up flawless. Okay I have the color medium tan. This is a models prefer airbrush buffing. I'm going to use this mellow little brow pomade in caramel. I just recently um, edited a video where I used this in a first impressions and I'm like, I need to use that again. Um, so I'm just taking out my Exo Beauty eyebrow groomer. It's still so soft. I just got my brows threaded today, so... Oh, it's so pigmented. Oh, I forgot. I've changed my hair. I've gone a bit lighter. I don't know. Like This is the first video I'm filming, actually, apart from a vlog where I've gone a bit lighter. So I've probably gone too dark in my brows. <laughs> Whoops. I'm gonna use some Essence Make Me Brow. This is in Blondie Brows, so it should just make them a little bit lighter. Just a little bit. Ah, oh, no! Going in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pop. There's two different eyeshadows that I've been loving lately, the Tartus Pro Palette and then also my, uh, what are these, Colourpop eyeshadows. I don't know which ones to use. These have been like my go-to every day. I've been using them and they're great. I love them. Let me have a look at this. And I just put out a first impressions with this one and I feel like I might use the same colours. So I might not use this one today because I really want to use uh, this colour called trendy in a tutorial so yeah I might just save it for that I have a few other ones like Mac and makeup geek like actually probably just these three to be honest I'm gonna take firefly all over the lid just to set that base it's so funny like this brush is from a BH cosmetic set which was basically my first brush set and still using it <laughs> then I'm taking wake up call which is my like Perfect crease transition color. Oh, should I use tape today? Oh, I don't know. I have not been doing wings liner very much lately. I've been, I might just do what I usually do. I've been just like smoking things out so much. Although I did use these shadows for a wedding guest that I haven't edited yet. So I don't know if they're going to be, I, I need to try and do something different. This is a Zoeva 221 and I'm just taking that really widely through the crease and building up that color. 
going to take this color called IOU, which is a, an orange color. I'm just going to take that on top. I'm actually really excited because on Saturday I get to go to my first ever like fashion show. I'm going with Priceline and I am just like, I've ordered two dresses and hopefully one of them are okay. Because I was just like, oh my God, do I have to wear designer? I haven't got anything designer because I just, I don't spend that much money on clothes. I would say like I buy seasonal things at like affordable prices. So because I know that my style changes and things like that. So I don't invest in like expensive pieces. Hopefully one of those dresses are okay. One's from the Iconic and one's from Chic. I'm going to take that orangey shade on my lower lash line. I've been loving this color. It's called Popular Demand and it's so beautiful. Just going to take that through the crease on the same brush still. Actually, I probably should swap brushes. I'll use this Firm Blender brush by XO Beauty. I'm pretty sure this is exactly what I did for that wedding. Oh, oh now I think I want to do winged liner. So I'm just placing a bit on the lid there, on that outer corner, because I want my lid color to just make that bit in there pop. I'm going to take the same color on the lower lash line. I'm going to take Save It For Later on the lid. And this was the most impressive color when I did my little ColourPop video. It was so gorgeous. That is so freaking buttery. I'm going to take Cloud9, which is like a deep purpley plum. I don't know. That color's kind of gone everywhere, that gold. So taking this MUD of Mud Liner Black. Put it on my lower lash line and I'm just going to like smudge it out from there. Just taking some Cloud9 and blending that. Just kind of like setting it as well. I'm taking some more Popular Demand and just blending that so the edges are a bit softened. I know that looks crazy on the lower lash line, but when I do my lashes and everything, it will all even out. <laughs> I think I'll do a wing. I'm going to use my Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing Liner. This one's running low, so hopefully we'll get through this. Using my L'Oreal Voluminous False Fiber Lashes Waterproof. So I've been loving this mascara. It's really nice. Uh, it applies really well, lasts all day. There's only one time that it's like smudged on me and it was when I had a nap. Okay, I don't know how I feel. I think I need to do lashes and the whole rest of my face to see what I feel. Oh my gosh, I'm so upset. My Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, the darkest contour color, smashed. Like it didn't even smash, it just fell into three bits and I'm just like, no! Using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting, oh wait, Ambient Luminous Bronze Light. I never get that name right. Love this bronzer. It's so gorgeous. It go, it, Whenever I use it, it's just like it goes on so perfectly. It doesn't go patchy. It just looks so nice. Like, I freaking love it. By the way, I put on, I'm wearing like a this strapless dress. <laughs> I tell you at this point in the video. <laughs> I wasn't feeling tanned enough, so I went and got this Bondi Sands tan. Did I bring it in here with me? Oh, damn it, I thought I... Oh, it's out there. Um, it's like a wash-off one. I'd never used it before, so it, I followed the directions, and they're like, you know, don't use it on carpet or rugs or whatever. And I put it on, and you, you spray it, and then you rub it in with your hands. And look, it, it looks perfect. Like, it looks like I have makeup on. It looks gorgeous. But oh my gosh, be warned, it makes a mess, like such a mess. I was like scrubbing the floors and I'm like, oh. So I don't know if I meant to put it into a mitt first and then, 
and then <laughs> buy it, but it literally went everywhere. But it looks so good. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to be addicted to it for like events and stuff. <laughs> I'm going to use my mud contour kit and I'm going to use mainly this color, I think. And this is my Sigma small contour brush. I'm just going to take some banana powder from the contour kit and just highlight underneath my eyes there. I always think that this doesn't suit me, but then I watched a video where I did it and it looked really, really good. So, I don't know. I don't know, I'm in two minds about it, I think. I'm gonna use this Silky Touch Blush by Essence in Indian Summer. I actually really like this blush, it's so pretty. Haven't done this in a while, so I'm gonna use the Benefit What's Up as a cream base for my highlighter. And then, I don't know what highlight on top. Maybe my sleek one. Also haven't used this in a while. This is the Kali Bible palette and I'm gonna use my fave highlighter. I used to use this all the time. I just, I rarely go for it because I don't know, I just have other things to go for, I guess but it is very, very pretty, very striking. I'm actually gonna take the little highlight color here and use that on my brow bone. And in a corner. Oh, that's stunning, stunning. <laughs> So I have the Iconic Lashes from House of Lashes, but I used them when I did that New Year's Eve tutorial. So they might have like, they have like little fine bits of glitter in them that I can't get out, but I'm just gonna use them anyway, because I only got to wear them once and I wanted, and they're fine. They've just got some glitter in them. <laughs> Maybe I can just like try and color, the, color it in. I know my makeup looks like anything that I'd wear normally, but I'm going to an event, so uh, this is the type of thing that I would usually wear. Probably gonna wear a nude lip. I've got a, a black bodysuit and um, one of those pleated skirts that's pink and shiny. I could wear like a berry lip. I just get worried about wearing a darker lip to an event because like with touching up and it might get on my face or something like that. Whereas at least if you wear a nude lip, if it goes somewhere, you're not going to notice as bad, if you know what I mean. It has been so good having today off because I've managed to edit four vlogs this morning and film a video and I still have half an hour to do my hair. It's been great. And go get my eyebrows threaded, do a little bit of shopping. Like it has been so good. I cannot wait to be able to do this, you know, like even part-time. Full-time would obviously be a dream, but to be able to do it part-time, like I just can't wait. And hopefully that'll happen in the next month or so. After we move into the house, I can hopefully go part-time at my job if um, my manager can get it organized and everything like that. But I just need like this, these last couple months have proved like that I just, I can't, it, I, I'm so full on on the weekends and everything and I just can't, I can't do it anymore. I'm four years older than when I started my channel and I'm a lot more tired. I just, yeah, I don't know. I feel like things will change when we move into the house, but um, yeah, I'm excited at potentially doing this, like having, you know, two or three days a week to do this full time, like in, on those days, have the de those designated days apart from my weekends. Yeah, really excited. <laughs> Okay, so I have my lashes on, they are big, they are massive, and yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my hair. I might just like film it and speed it up. I'm not doing, I don't plan to do anything special, but I'm gonna clip in my extensions, which are my little Ikea Ziploc bag, because <laughs> I think I traveled with them last. I actually have this Prolis 5p wand. I got it from like Price Attack a while ago, um, but I like this one because it has a stand and I can't actually find any of my like adapters for my US products, like my Irresistible Me one or my new me. So I'm going to use this one and I wanted like a thick barrel. So I've um, 
found this one and I'm cranking it out again. <laughs> Now I just need to pick a lip. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna use this Essence Lip Liner in Soft Berry. I'm gonna use a Naked Lip Liner for a MAC on the inside. Using a lip liner just helps the lipstick stay on a lot longer. Rimmel lipstick in 250 mauve over. Interesting. It's kind of like a gray lip. Okay, so this is the finished look. I'm all dressed and ready to go. I've got my choker from Colette and these earrings are actually, they're from Mimco. They're a little bit dirty, um, but I love how the, the lip like complements like the purple mauve shadows in the eye. I think it looks really, really pretty. And the gold almost looks like a bit rose gold to match the jewelry as well. Yeah, that's it from me. Let me know if you like these chitty chatty type of videos. I haven't done one in a while, so it was good to have a chat with you guys and keep you up to date with what's going on in my life. Let me know by giving it a thumbs up if you want to see more. And don't forget to follow me on social media and our vlog channel as well. I hope you're having a a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!